All right. Next up on my DIY project list is this workbench. I want to make it to where, well here, hold on. Let me grab some. Ah, shit. Outstanding. Booby trapped myself. Oh. They're on the bench. So the plan is to make this top a top that opens and then underneath the top in this in this chunk right here is going to be a tray some kind of tray with little slots in it for all my miscellaneous hardware so all the nuts and bolts and whatnot they can all live under here and i can just lift it up and it's nice and long so i should be able to see everything instead of having all of them in crammed in a drawer somewhere you know and i'm always using miscellaneous hardware um i love using the wrong hardware for the job but anyway to have this top lift open um the plan is to put a latch here in the middle maybe one on each side i'm um, not completely sold on how i want to do that but to open it i got these these trunk struts from a PT Cruiser at the junkyard. And what's nice about these is the hardware is built into them. So that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. And they, they pivot on this little knuckle here. So basically, um, I, can, I can get it like pretty wrong and it should still work. <sighs> I'm not quite strong enough to do that. Wow, yeah. High pressure, contains gas. Yeah, I believe it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, guess we'll get to it. Roll that beautiful beam footage. Fuck. To start with, we gotta get this thing turned off. Hopefully all this stuff will be inside the bench once I'm done. To mount the struts, I gotta pre-drill some holes a little smaller than the strut bolts. Now that I've got the back of those attached, I can start figuring out where the front bolts will go. This is about when I started realizing I had some problems. The biggest one being this thing is hard to compress. After many attempts and a sore chest, I got the top compressed and screwed into place. Wow. 
I attach the hinges and remove the blocks of wood holding the struts compressed. Didn't blow up yet. And realized I had another huge problem. The angle of the struts did not support the weight of the top. Alright, so this is day number two with my workbench. I kind of realized that uh, I was doing a bad job. So I'm starting over, kind of. I've had some time to think about how I fucked up, where I fucked up. We're gonna make some improvements. But uh, one thing y'all didn't see is uh, after I got this put together uh, very haphazardly, I did a disgusting criminal reciprocating saw cut uh, on the back of this back of this workbench top without taking it off. Here's a chunk of it here. Um, but yeah, I just ripped through that thing. So I went down to the restore uh, down the street. Uh, they had a door that had been repurposed into a countertop for like 30 bucks. So I grabbed that. Uh, shout out Dave for uh, putting me onto that. We're gonna take this top off and we're gonna put that one on. We're gonna we're gonna get it right this time. We're gonna do it for real. All right. First, we gotta get this whole top off. This is the new top. It's a little bigger. So I'm gonna need to measure the bench and cut the top to size. Shout out to Kirk for hooking me up with this circular saw. It's come in real handy with this and with the woodshed I just did. While I'm cutting stuff, I'm gonna cut some supports for the back of the workbench using some wood from the pool deck I took down recently. These supports will also help space the bench out a little bit from the wall so the top has more room to open up. Thank you. 
Now I gotta reattach these hinges, which are also being recycled in that pool bag. Part of my problem with the struts was the angle. So I'm hoping if I drop them down and move them more into the center, that they'll be in a better position to support the top of the pin. And that way I won't also have to compress the top. I also use these metal L brackets to try and help the angle that the struts mount at. I tried a few different angle combinations and after much frustration, found the sweet spot. The one shown here was not that angle. Now that that angle is finally figured out, it's time to get my latches installed. On first attempt, I ended up ripping one of the latches straight out of the wood. Oh, no way, dude. Oops. Got that screwed back in, should be all set. How about now, can you see me? Oh, wow, okay. So, uh, after what felt like a whole lot of trial and error, uh, I finally got it um, to where it will, it will open and close. Hopefully these uh, shocks will get nice and worn out. So it, uh, won't be I like that so I don't know where I was in the audio of that but um, yeah basically this took me way longer than I thought it was going to because I'm an idiot uh, well we got what I hope is the hardest part done uh, Next up, we're going to make trays for the miscellaneous hardware that I want to put under here. Uh, that'll be these guys. These are uh, like some plastic storage shelves. Uh, but the way they're printed or whatever, I got a bunch of squares and stuff in them that I want to use as cubbies. Uh, that's that's next on the to-do list. Alright, let's get 
Bitte. some dinner. 